The Luzerne County District Attorney and Wilkesbury Police say the investigation into the deadly shooting of a 13 year old boy is moving forward. His death has been ruled a homicide. It's the most recent violent incident in our region involving young people, mainly teenagers and guns. And it's not only an issue in northeastern Pennsylvania, it's also being seen across the country. So what's going on there? 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalschik went in search of answers. Andy joins us tonight in the studio with more. Andy. Well, Nick and Kaz, I spoke with law enforcement officials and mental health experts. They say there are many factors that can lead to these incidents involving teens and guns. They do say and agree education can be a major factor preventing many of these types of violent situations. Police converge on the Boulevard townhomes in Wilkesbury Monday afternoon. A 13 year old male was shot in the head and died at the scene. Another juvenile was arrested and is awaiting further court action. In May, a 15 year old boy is shot in the head as a group of teens gather in Plymouth. He survived his injuries. In July, in Nanticoke, a 14 year old boy is wounded in a drive by shooting. Two other teens were charged in connection with the incident. In March, in Williamsport, two teens arrested in connection with shots fired at a house. There are so many factors today that intersect the mind of an adolescent or of a teen uh, that weren't there a decade or two decades ago. Wyoming County District Attorney Joe Peter says those factors include the internet, video games, and what he believes is the glamorization of violence. One of them is this sense of Invincibi in invincibility because people see things online and there's really no consequence for shooting. In fact, there are games where you shoot and kill people and you get up and you start over again. So that numbs the mind to the sensitivity of the dangerousness of this weapon. Psychiatrist Dr. Matthew Berger from Lackawanna County agrees. I think there's a couple of different things. I think number one, adolescents don't have a sense of permanence in the sense that they feel on some level that they're kind of immortal. You know, when you're 15, you don't understand that death is final. Dr. Berger and D.A. Peter say parents play a major role in heading off potential problems. Well, I think you need to sit down with your child and, and have that conversation about, hey, a weapon is a tool. It has to be treated with respect, you know, and you need to use, you know, use it appropriately. We always talk to parents about speak to your kids about drugs and one pill can kill. The same goes here. Speak to your children about guns and have gun ownership be responsible and well-trained ownership. Dr. Berger and D.A. Peters say this is not a gun rights issue. It's a gun safety education issue. For all of our stories on this issue, head to our website, PAHomepage.com. Nick and Canis. All right, Andy, thank you. That